Hey guys, welcome back to a new chapter of our free online course for Adobe Muse Beginners. So in this chapter, we're going to talk about slideshows and we're going to learn how to create one in Adobe Muse. So if you're not sure what a slideshow is, it's an element that you usually find it in home pages. And as this one, for example, here in Responsive Muse below our header, we can see a slideshow. This is an advanced slideshow that has a lot of animated effects. We're going to create a basic one with just a simple transition effect and not with all of these ones here. So you can see how it slides and you can people use this to to like highlight the most important parts of, of your website It's more to catch the user's attention. So you can actually go back and forth and so on. Here we've included some buttons and other graphics. I'm going to show you how to create a basic one, not with so many animated effects. Okay, so let's go back to Muse now. And um, last episode, we talked about mobile, yep, mobile menu, and we made it responsive and we were still using our master pages because that was a common element across all the website. But now we're going to go directly to the home page as our slideshow will only be in the home page. So double click to open it. And what I'm going to show you is here, go to the widget library. And these are all the widgets that you can find inside Muse and they're pretty handy sometimes. In this case, we're going to open the slideshow, the slideshow folder, and from all the options that we have here, I'm just going to drag out the basic one. So click and drag it to your workspace. I'm going to close this. Okay, so if you click on it, then you'll see this blue arrow, click, so it will open the, the widget options. Here you can see all the options. We're going to add the images. We're going to fill the frame or fill the content proportionally. You can actually choose a transition. It's just three basic transitions and you can also uh, choose the, the speed. And also some parts here that I'm going to select more parts and you'll see how other parts appear here. So for slideshow, I'm just going to get rid of every single part except for the image. And you can actually just deselect the options here, or you can actually click until you select the part and use your keyboard, use your backspace to delete it. Any option, whatever you want to. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I like slideshows to, I want to stretch it to the browser's way. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Click. Sometimes you have to click like two times until you get to 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 the part of the widget because you might not notice, but the widget has like a container and then inside he has content. So sometimes um, if you see that if you click once and you can't find how to resize it here, the options, that means you have to click over it again and then you'll see it. You'll see how you're going to pin it and you can see how to resize it. By the way, it always pinned here, but I don't want to be pinned. Now, go here to resize and set stretch to browser's width. Great. So now click on resize, and I also want this to be to have a specific height, which is 800 pixels. Sorry. Click on height is 800 pixels. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it. Sorry, I'm going to drag it just under the menu and the logo. Make sure, go to layers and make sure this is inside the body. So as you see, it's inside the footer. So just click on it and drag it to your body layer. Remember, I told you layers are very, very important because otherwise it gets a bit messy. Okay, so I'm going to bring this a little bit down. Great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these options again. And I'm going to add the images. So for this, I'm just going to click on this folder. 
and I have the images here already prepared, already optimized. So I'm just going to select three of them. Okay. Three of them. And I'm going to wait. Also, I'm going to select, sorry, a uh, different transition. So I'm going to choose the vertical transition. And yes, I want to leave the speed like that. You can play around with this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to adapt it to, to the smaller breakpoints. I'm going to make something clear here. I'm going to show you how to basically do this, but it doesn't mean that once you've touched it in every single breakpoint, uh, you might not need to do it in a future. Why? Because right now, there are, this is, these are just the only elements that are here. Once you start adding more, more elements to the page, then all the design has to make sense. So all the elements interact with each other, so you might have to make other future decisions too. So this doesn't mean that by selecting here a new size and a different breakpoint or a different behavior, you might also need to do it in a future once you add more elements, okay? So if you see me doing that in future chapters, it's because of this. So fastest thing is I'm going to see how it looks in smaller breakpoints. So as I had stretched this to browsers width, it might all be the same. Exactly. But I'm going to make this a little bit different. Why? Because it doesn't make sense to, to see a slideshow be so, 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 so long in a mobile phone, for example. So the, actually this slideshow in a mobile phone, so in smaller breakpoints, it has to be just a little bit smaller. So it will, it will look fine here in this breakpoint. It looks fine probably here too. And I'm just going to bring down a little bit the footer because I actually might need a little bit of blank space. And you can actually make it, if you want to, a little bit smaller, but just slightly let me see how it is if so from yep i'm just gonna make it 730 then go down to a thousand and i'm going to do the same thing you can make it smaller by doing this or you can type a specific size over here Okay, so now in 768, I was in, sorry, I'm going to bring it down to 500. And here in the smaller, smallest breakpoint, I'm going to leave it in 300. Okay, so this actually makes more sense. Now, I'm just going to preview this. Oh, so I see I have to bring it up a little bit. So this is the effect. You see, this is the, the vertical effect that I have chosen. And if you make it smaller, you see how it's interacting with the rest of the elements. So I'm just going to fix this. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to zoom in and just bring it up there. So you have to just make sure in every single breakpoint it's up here. And just a few more. Okay, and done. Okay, so I hope you find this tutorial very useful and hope you understood how to, how to work with slideshows. So I'll see you in the next chapter.